He thought it was just the one bully at first, but it turns out other kids in his classroom were saying things as well. Why are the kids picking on him? Let me guess. He has more female friends than male. He doesn't like sports. He likes girly things. I'm sorry, things that are traditionally viewed as being girly. You want to stereotype, babe? Stereotypes of origins. Yes, all of those things describe Aiden. Well, look, I mean, the main prerequisite for being gay is... Does he like other boys? He's eight. I knew when I was eight. Man, I didn't. I mean, it took me a long time. All I had grown up was the sense that I just felt different than the other boys. And I didn't know until I hit puberty that I was actually even attracted to other guys. I didn't want to be. <laughs> I mean, I dated girls. I played as free for as long as I could until one day I just couldn't hide it anymore. And so after that, did things get better? Mm, uh, boy, um... <laughs> The getting better part that um it takes a while. I have no idea where I was when these people were killed. I'm not someone who keeps a diary. And I don't know Peyton Mills. Well, Peyton Mills knew you. Why was he so keen to speak to you? Now, how would I know that? Can you speak to him? I mean, clearly he reached out to you. No, I didn't speak to him. Yeah, he, maybe he reached out to me. I don't answer phone numbers that I don't recognize. You don't believe me, you can check my phone records. I'll tell you what, you can check my phone records, and then when you're done, you can go catch this maniac before he kills anyone else. So what do I do? It is going through such a tough time right now. And Franco seems to think that maybe we should figure out a way to, to bring it up ourselves. Look, Elizabeth. Um, it sounds like you're on top of it. Honestly. Yeah, my parents weren't. But there is a way that you can create a safe environment so that Aiden feels free to speak up whenever he's ready. How? How do I do that? Start by having me and Lucas over for dinner. Yeah, even though Brad said that to get a free dinner, I think he's right. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, you know, let him see you around your gay friends so that he sees that you accept people for who they are without making it all about him. Okay. All right. Let's yeah. Let's do it. Score. <laughs> All right. But listen, I, I got to be honest with you though. Um, this isn't going to get easier anytime soon. But just know that your friends and your family got your back. Okay. Thanks. Come here. Oh. And so does Franco. You got this. Spell records, check out. Peyton Mills called Franco. Franco didn't pick up. <sighs> Thank you for your time. We're done? For now. Next time you need to talk to me, talk to my lawyer. He's a fun guy. Yeah, with his history, no wonder. You want me to nail down Franco's whereabouts for the other murders? Yeah, please do. What do you think about this? Franco's last brush with the law was a year ago, when Drew Kane shot Jim Harvey. Yeah, Harvey almost killed Franco when Drew Kane showed up. Franco's a patient of Kevin Collins. Think he's still seeing him? If he is, Dr. Collins couldn't discuss it. Well, he could if he had knowledge that his patient was going to commit a crime. If that's the case, wouldn't he have come forward earlier? One would hope, but... It's worth following up on. Set up a meeting with Kevin Collins. If anyone knows if Franco is capable of killing again, it's a psychiatrist.